Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So recently, Microsoft started moving the Copilot button on the Windows 11's taskbar from the center taskbar to the right-hand side of the system tray, which, as I've mentioned previously, is a change that I actually quite enjoy. Now, just a quick video to let you know about a couple of other changes that I have spotted that have rolled out uh, to Copilot. And I spotted these after booting up my Windows 11 device this morning. So these changes seem to be on a controlled server-side update and are not um, so-called attached to any recent update that rolled out for Windows 11. Now, first of all, you will notice a new toggle to the top of the toolbar, which looks very similar to the sidebar button that's found in Microsoft Edge. And you can see now that with the default setting, which is show side by side, I can now resize Copilot to half the width of my screen. And if I open up Google Chrome as an example or any other app, you can see you can view the browser and Copilot side by side. And if I um, resize Copilot, you get the idea that's shown side by side. Now, if I toggle that to show as overlay, you'll see now that Copilot is overlaying Google Chrome. So you can see that Chrome now kind of disappears here underneath Copilot to the right hand side. So Copilot is overlaying the browser. And I can now drag Copilot almost to a full screen width, just with this little lip here to the um, left hand side. So this is looking very similar now to what I have been posting on where a full screen for a Microsoft Copilot could be coming to Windows 11. So Microsoft has already started this process and this is looking very similar to Copilot Online. So if I head over to Microsoft Edge and just head to Copilot Online, you can see that they are obviously trying to collate the look and feel. So if you do use Copilot on a regular basis, you're getting more or less the same look as what you get if you are using Copilot Online because this is almost full screen and I'm sure we will be getting a full screen mode rolling out shortly if this is already the, the, the progress that Microsoft has made in resizing Copilot from its original almost to full screen. So that's just this little lip here on the end as mentioned. And that's if you've got a show as overlay. And if you put show side by side, we can see as mentioned, you can only resize it to half the width of your screen and then it shows side by side. So if you are using um, Copilot on a regular basis, this may be a nice move in the right direction. And just wanted to bring that to your attention because um, as mentioned, this is not attached to any updates that I know of. And this may be useful if you do find yourself using um, Copilot on a regular basis. So if I do see anything coming to the stable version where you can actually um, make a full screen so-called version of Copilot, obviously I'll let you guys know. And the good thing about this show is overlay. As you can see, it actually remembers your setting. So it'll remember the width that you've actually expanded Copilot to. So just to give you another example, so if I close it, when it's on the actual show as overlay setting, you can see it remembers that, which I actually think is a step kind of forward and a nice improvement. There you go. That's a couple of new changes that um, I've just noticed and just wanted to put it out there in case you would be interested. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.